Welcome to the Flights of the Round Table Podcast. Broadcasting from the Queen City, Charlotte, North Carolina. And now, here are your hosts, Dan, Drew, Daniel, and Florian. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is episode 53 of the Flights of the Round Table podcast. We are at the main residence, and we are just excited because it's going to be a damn good show. How's everyone doing today? One, two, three, go. Boom! <laughs> I won. Oh, my my helmet's still on. Yeah. Folks, just for context, uh, everyone put on know. little uh, handheld helmets, and um, we, we tried sm- to see who could knock each other's off. We smashed the yeah, other. it was okay, so we, not that cool, so not what, that fun, but so what it was we learned from that is Drew's the weakest link. Is yes. that what you learned there? Dude, it went like eight feet over there. <laughs> <laughs> My finger has CTE. Oh, God. Oh. Mm. Nice. Cool. Yeah. yeah, getting right with the times. Yeah. yeah. How are you guys doing? Good. I don't know. Good, just like every other week you ask us that. Well, I'd just like to know. Sometimes <laughs> well, maybe, maybe like something is on be somebody's different. Mind. Can someone really have a shitty week? Please. Can you imagine? I got hit by a puddle, baseball in my car. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I'll be oh. I'll be the different one I when got I have a really guys. shitty week, like starting Monday and Tuesday. Like it couldn't get any worse, right? Mm-hmm. I'll let you guys know. So I actually had something today. Mm. So Aaron's not here, but I can you know share with the audience. Aaron liked I smoked queso one time. So you did what, Dan? You smoked a queso? Yeah. Yeah. How How did you do that though? In the I smoker. put it in a smoker okay. and just make it, I was going to clarify that for everyone because the way he what, made it sound. You rolled a bunch of case up into a blunt and lit it on. You're <laughs> just smoking some cheese up in here. Jeez. All right, what did you do with the case? So again? it was raining today, so the, our backyard was really, really wet. So I was trying to get the grill, like my smoker, in position as quickly as I needed to. Well, I completely forgot and everything, so I'm pushing it, pushing it, pushing it, and I hit a rut and kept trying to go. It flipped me over. <laughs> It flipped the you girl over. Flipped yeah. you over. You you went airborne. I, for I like. I stood up. I went. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. Did anybody see that? Yeah, it's good that you looked. <laughs> so but that's uh. But you have the fences, right? You have a well, fence. Well, we have one fence, but not the, the other neighbors. I'm sure they looked out. They're like, "What a dumbass!" What did they see? I I don't know. They were inside. I mean, Nobody ah, came out and asked if I was okay. Bailey just see. sat there with her tail. I she mean, was wagging are at Are they me. really? You think they're standing right by the window like he's going to fuck up one day? <laughs> <laughs> I won't be ready. <laughs> I doubt it. Do you, so I think you're good. Did you have like the uh, the smoking chips in there and everything? No, was it, no, okay. no. Thankfully, nothing was in been, there. It was yeah. all clear. Oh. I, you know, I kind of hurt my knee a little bit. Thank God you didn't have the queso in there. I almost Can dropped the queso. I was trying to bring it back inside, and my door smacked it. I had to go, whoa. I had to grab it. You know, I would fall with the queso. I remember one time, um, this was back Just Please in talk my, into the mic. It's like back in high school. It was actually one of those nights where we all hung out, and I got super fucking stoned, and, and you know, went back. Like, when we snuck out, right, and then I'd go back home. And uh, I would say this is probably like one or two in the morning or something like that. I'm absolutely faded out of my mind. And I knew that uh, the day before, uh, my parents had all the fixings for tacos. We had like a taco night, right? So I made a, bu- I made myself a burrito, right? Yeah. And my sister was still awake. Well, I turned the corner of my old house to go uh, upstairs. And I don't know why the floor was wet, but I slipped. And I slipped hard. And I held the plate. I had a square plate with a burrito on. I held it up in the air. I fell on my <laughs> on my side like this. And I had the fucking burrito right up there. You held it up? Oh, I held it up. Wow. Didn't drop it on. My sister fucking comes out of her room. She's like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> Holding a burrito up there. I'm like, oh, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Did you used to be a waiter? Uh, no, I was fu- I was a food runner. <laughs> was a runner. food runner. Yeah, and then you were a food faller. Yeah. I, oh, I fell with the food, but I didn't drop it. Yeah. 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 All my years of training prepared me for Guys, that. Guys, have you ever won the rule the seven seas? Uh, yes. As a pirate, yes. Or, uh, look, listen. I, I, I technically am a pirate. Can't say it. Yeah, can't you like g- get your booty. So speaking <laughs> of pirates, why did you give me the look of death there? <laughs> what was that all about? What a, Daniel? What what pirate would you be more afraid of? A classic, or a Métis pirate, or a Somalian pirate? I definitely uh, oh. a Somalian because <laughs> they have nothing to lose. They have guns. <laughs> they have absolutely. <laughs> they're willing to whatever they're doing. They're willing to go to jail for right then and there. Uh, <laughs> they're like no. Honestly, do they ki- do they even kill people? Do they kill people? Yeah, Is they that- kill more people than a regular pirate does. 
Oh, right, I don't know. Pirate doesn't exist anymore. And back then, back in the day, I think it was free game. They would just kill people for fucking farting wrong. <laughs> <Dude. laughs> I mean, oh, let's be honest here. Someone drinks his rum. Yeah, oh, now, there, now there's like you know legal bodies and like you know like international organizations. Back then, they didn't even. I mean, the the best form of communication was sending a raven. <laughs> okay, that's so true. I mean, honestly, like it was a free for all back then. You just slice your throat and that's it. Actually, in the back, like way back in the day, now that you think about it, like no one could communicate with no one. So as soon as you saw someone, you did, you you couldn't like speak their language. You're like just fuck them. We're gonna kill them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're just gonna just get rid of yeah, them. Give me a Somalian yeah, yeah. pirate. I don't speak that language. Fuck them. Give me a Somalian pirate. I'll do like um, what, what's that? Captain Phillips yeah. in that movie. I'll just sweet talk him. It's I'll crazy. Like, I'll be like, listen, you don't need to do this. It's crazy as it <laughs> you sounds. Do that. You're right. You're fine, dude. The, don't do that. Just take this. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'll be good. You know. That's what I'm going to do. Probably, I know that's not how it went, but that's how I'd handle it. It's not a bad way to handle it. They're probably more civilized than, like, the old school pirates, dude. Well, fucking of course. As crazy as that they sounds. Have, they at least have cell phones, you know, in today's era. They see, like, you know, yeah. back in the day, it's a fucking... It, even in, like, civilized society, they would chop your head off for some shit, you know? Yes, you're right. Good God, dude. We are so lucky we don't live back then. I have to change my God answer. Damn. <sighs> well, no going back. <laughs> I think yeah, Somalians. Yeah, I I think they'd be cool people. We uh, die, uh, but I think oh, we'd have okay. a good time dying. So you know, that's just kind of my thoughts on the whole. I didn't know where that was going to go for a second. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Somalians. Just, we would just have a good time. Um, sticking on the pirate theme, whose ship would you rather be a part of, Captain Jack Sparrow's or uh, the Davy Jones guy, the one that has all the fucking oh. shit on him? Who would you guys that's rather an have? Easy one. Is that from like Pirates of the Caribbean? Yes. Yeah. I really don't remember. It's been like ten years. It's like, you remember? So it's it's the guys that can essentially breathe completely underwater. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. That's one half of the story, Dan. But the other half is that you're bound to that ship for for eternity. You are. But then you never die. Yeah. Okay. Well, what what's the point of living if you're stuck on that ship? You're not going to see shit. I can tell you that. Screw it. Yeah, no, I'd rather be on Captain Jack Sparrow's boat. You're getting blackout drunk on rum every single day. Yeah, I'm com- I'm best friends with him if that happens. Yeah, absolutely. What's even like the what's like the end goal of like that ship, right? It's just traveling around. Like what are they trying to do? You, think? you always find tre- treasure. It seems like they ro- always have a quest. And just having yeah. some just good old time, you know? Yeah. That's how they live like that. So whatever they're Amen. doing, they're just doing. Whatever they find out, like they're just yeah. like seeking to seek. You know, it's a fucking free for all. It's like the yeah. ultimate freedom. You don't know what today's. Gonna you take be. every every ship you see, you take over. And that's yeah. simple as that. Simple as that. Die trying. Mm-hmm. Honestly, and they usually win for some reason. Yeah. So. <laughs> for some reason, because Captain Jack Sparrow. Yeah. I love me some Captain Jack Sparrow. Um, but as always, folks, we are the flights of the round table because we like to drink flights of beer. Drew, I'm sorry that I took that and from you. And we sit at a round table. And we sit at a round table here uh, today. I know we have a action-packed show. We're going to get to, obviously, some NFL stuff towards the end of it. Daniel's going to try to redeem himself on Daniel's a doofus. But what I want to start on is I was thinking about this. We drink things every day. You know, you drink things on the weekend. You drink things every day. So I want to hear your guys' rankums on these four drinks. And I took them from different categories, alcoholic beverages, non-alcoholic beverages, some unorthodox beverages. So I have four of them. So I'm going to read them out, and I want to hear people's ranks and why. So root beer float, a margarita, water in between lifts, at the gym, so in between sets. <laughs> Very specific. Or Time a rattler, which is a beer and lemon lime soda. Ooh. Daniel, you're first. I'm going to put that. Do I put them in order? Do yeah. I put them in order? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I put the rattler at whatever this Rattler. Whatever, at rattler. The, the rattler? I've never <laughs> even heard it, of it. It's, it's, at it's the, the bottom. Riddler. The Spencer Riddler. Rattler. Yeah, riddler, <laughs> Rattler, whatever. It's at the bottom. Okay. Um, we got the root beer float all the way at the top. But why? Because it is so damn good, and you're, you have ice cream in it, right? What kind of root beer? You go, huh? You know what? I'm pretty, I'm flexible on the root beer, but you know what's going in there? It's, it's a for sure thing is bluebell vanilla bean ice cream, hundred percent. That didn't answer my question, but I. Well, I could go a, I could go A and W. I can go Burks. I'm, I mean, I'm pretty flexible, you know. I there's a Burks. Barks, whatever the, it is, you know. <laughs> Barks A and W. Okay, all right. Then what's what's yeah. your two and three? What were the other two again? Uh, a margarita, 
or that sip of water in between uh, sets at the gym. You know what? I'm going to go margarita second because I don't go to the fucking gym. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> but once I do go to the gym, I'm going to say put that probably up at two. But at the moment, it's at number three. Okay. I love how deep thought Daniel goes. Daniel, yeah. had, he was yeah. like, mm. <laughs> one of you two. Um, it's got to be. Uh, okay, so root beer flow is dead last. I fucking hate root beer. Can you talk into the microphone, please? Sorry. It's disgusting. I hate root beer. Not even a question. Um, the Rattler will be third to last. Um, it's good. I, I like a Rattler, but not yeah. all the time. Um, I would say number two is that sip of water between reps because that shit hits, especially when you got a solid pump going, you know, like chest A, you're setting a PR. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> uh, and then last but not least, that margarita because, hey, listen. Last... No, it's first. First, it's okay. it's last in my four, but it's you made first. us confused. There. Sorry, margarita. Oh yeah, yeah, true. Easy, easy, easy. Margarita one. Sip of water between sets. Got to quench the thirst, and then uh, root beer float, and then last would be the rattler. Damn it! I tried to. I thought the rattler. I thought maybe that would you know just, sparks just because it was a beer, some yeah. fancy. Yeah. I thought you know we'll mix it up a little bit. Yeah. Um, for me, root beer float one. Uh, just, you know, you have to have A&W though. It has to be A&W and blue bell vanilla ice cream. Just has to be. There you go. That is the, re- that is really the correct way. Yeah, that's not I never, one. I never appreciated how big a sip of water in between whether you're on the treadmill or you're on sets is big. I did a, I ran for 45 minutes without a water and that was the worst thing ever so yeah, that's yeah. number two for me because it just quenches your thirst. I had it today. Folks, I, uh, actually, I looked like an idiot. I saw Drew in the gym. Drew was on the treadmill, just getting his run in. And I tried to get his attention. And I was waving, trying to kind of make eye contact with him. And I just looked like a dumbass because Drew didn't see me at all. I didn't. So I didn't. I was locked in. Uh, number three, I'm actually going to do the Rattler. Uh, I've had it before. It's very, very refreshing. And I'm just not that big on margaritas. So I'm going to put margarita at number four. Interesting. Wow. Is it just too sweet for you? I yeah, I feel sour. like... A, uh, no, it's just there, there's some... I haven't found, like, the right place to get a margarita yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it has to be, for me, it has to be the right thing. It just does. And I haven't had that yet. You've literally been to Mexico. You didn't have one there. <laughs> I, I don't I, want to talk about Mexico. I heard there is a good Hispanic place uh, up there right next to your place, your place, actually. Yeah, they do margarita towers, but those are just filled with a lot of tequila and get you blackout drunk. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> there's a time oh, and a place. Bet. Yeah, there's, there's a time, time and a place. place. There's, yeah, and they right. also have these carne asada fries. So it's fries, they have steak, guacamole, oh, sour cream, lettuce, pico. Ooh. It just gets you real excited for You know night. what's an underrated, um, like, I wouldn't say, tra- it's not traditional Mexican, but it's like a, a interesting take on Mexican food, birria ramen. Mm. So you know the birria tacos, which are the ones you dip in the uh, consomme? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but with, uh, you get a huge, huge, like a double cup, like you're sipping lean. <laughs> <Okay>? Zip. <laughs> and, and then you get the fucking consomme in there, and then you, they give you a fork. You spoon it out. Oh, my God. So much ramen in there, and all the shredded wow. beef and all the fixings in there. Oof. That's a really cool idea. Oh, that's Honestly, a damn I would, good I would meal. love it's to really be a part good. of that. Yeah. Well, I think in the drink competition, the... Uh, the lemon lime or unfortunately beer. the rattler which i thought was gonna spark a little more debate there know your crowd didn't your crowd. put up a fight but guys you know who would put up a fight who eight marios versus an elephant mm. do they have access to mushrooms oh yeah oh god yes eight marios versus an elephant yeah yeah because if they get the whoopa and they get the uh you know the elephant or the mushrooms mm-hmm. and everything those things get huge but if they Mario's get those pretty small pretty light the elephant's got a trunk, but he would just heavy. T- he I'm would tire say, the elephant out. I'm gonna say elephant all day, just because elephants they're up there in like the top five with most deaths in, right now in the in the world. I think. So. With any animal, yeah. <laughs> yeah, with any animal. <laughs> at least in Africa, that's for sure. You, no, no, you, no, you did spit that out the other day. You did say that. At least number seven. I can. They're in the top seven. I can guarantee. Yeah, I, I believe you. I don't. Now, if it's Dr. Mario's from Super Smash Brothers, and you give him one of those Bowser shells, which is the it's Bowser shell with wings on it, all day, give me Dr. Mario's. But just regular Mario's? You no. don't think they can pull it off? Nope. Damn. I think they would just get, they'd get the elephant tired. 
There's eight of them. They'd be doing their little jump, you know, yeah, jump yeah. up at the sky, Some just keep jumping pounds. over it, and he'd eventually just fall down, be exhausted. Yeah, I think they they have more of a chance than they are giving them credit for. Yeah, no, so. I, I completely agree. That's interesting. Um, what about five Wario's and a? Uh, I drank mine. What? Oh no! Like his looks a little black. Okay. Well, I mean, everyone but, drank it. What's so, wrong with your beer, Daniel? Oh, I'm not drinking it. It looks normal to me. Drink it then. I didn't see you. T- uh, it's normal to me. <laughs> it was too little of a sip for me to, to like that. Yeah. Florian, it just seems like he's insulting your beer choice. Yeah. Uh, t- it's his beer choice. That wasn't even my decision. Daniel, I need you to chug that beer right now. No, I can't do that. Jeez, I really can't. Well, I guess he learned his lesson. Don't always get a sour because sometimes they... Well, and it's a kettle sour, so they do sit. Yeah, they do. Dude, that thing sat. Okay, it did. <laughs> that thing is sitting right now. Florian, while we're on the topic of beers... Oh. Yeah. No. Give a little round off for yeah, the audience? Yeah, you can give us a little round off. And then I want you to compare these to NFL teams. Oh, that's... Well, I haven't had them all yet. I don't I, care. I, Figure it out. Well, that's kind of you ridiculous. should normally you have do, all your flights by now. Do you want to come back to him, Florian? Yeah, we, I do. We, if I'm okay. going to do that, I mean, that's I kind of ridiculous. Dan, yeah. Dan would be the guy that has me at gunpoint in an airplane with no parachute, fall, and survive, figure it out. He would. I mean, it'd be ridiculous. You know, what am I going to do? Yeah. So, true. Dan, uh, give me a sec. I'm going to have all that's these. Fine. And I'll let okay. You know. Dale, you want to crank it up a notch here? Do you, you got some news? I feel like, uh, you know. Oh man, what yeah. I, um, you got some good news, you know? Some, do I have any uh, good news? Some um, interesting news, I mean. Uh, nothing very, very interesting. Um, I do know of a story that uh, I did hear the other day. Um, this this fella, he had a Tinder or a Hinge or whatever. There's dating apps, you know. Mm-hmm. He planned all of his dates that he. I mean, he, yeah, he liked some girls, whatever. He planned all his dates. All on the same day, at the same time, at the same place. To, to, you know, he had all these girls show up, and then he came with roses, and he he had one less than the amount of girls he told there. So six roses, seven girls. <laughs> yep. And he was like, "This is bachelor style, and this is what's up right now." <laughs> and, and the only thing I saw was him running away, and him, one of the girls with the purse like coming <laughs> over. The- oh, that is genius. That's though. balls, though. But That's honestly. Balls. Hey, you know, I was efficient. Kinda, the man's yeah. efficient. I respect that. I, yeah. I respect that too. I mean, it's creative as hell. Whether you agree with it or not, it's yeah. creative as hell. Don't, yeah, you know? it is. You know, like I, I, I honestly, I this is going to sound fucked up. So sorry if you hate me for this, but I blame the women in this scenario. Okay, <laughs> just because that's creative as fuck. Okay, yeah. you should respect the man's ingenuity. He came up with that idea by himself. And he got all of you in a room, and he's just trying to, uh, you know, one by one, figure out who's going to be his soulmate. They yeah. made a television show about it, so you can't get mad at the principle of it. Yeah, okay? exactly. You get mad so, at that, then you're... So... That's true, guys. Love is hard to find these days. Everybody, There's more than one way to tie a shoe. So consider that shoe oh, tied. Wow. Yeah. That's a good... That's a good phrase right there. There's more than one way well, to tie was, a shoe. I would Although, say he tried to tie that shoe. <laughs> <laughs> there are there a ton of different yeah. knots. He tried to tie a shoe and he ended up with a flip flop. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't know how to tie shoes, just get Velcro shoes. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, I did that as a kid. Dan, so, what, what do you think your wife would say if you told her that that I had Velcro shoes? <laughs> she'd call me a ner- she'd call me a nerd. Yeah, <laughs> but they're probably Skechers or Wheelies. Oh, they were Skechers and they lit up. I actually had Heelys. Oh, I was good at Heelys, bro. I was good. Mm. I was just, I was zooting and everything. Yeah, you, and I kept You were getting... always good at skating. You put wheels on you. You're, yeah. you're going anywhere. Not anymore. Here's a funny story about the Heelys. I wanted Heelys for so long, right? About five, five years, I think. I wanted uh-huh. Heelys. To the point where they were literally going out of style, yeah. and I still wanted them. And, and then my, you got them? My mom got them like a year or two later after I didn't even want them anymore. They weren't even the actual Heelys. When I put them on, they were like, they had a wheel on the front and it like popped out and a wheel on the back and it was like a try hard you know it ended up being more of like a like a rollerblade <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and i was like what the f- what the fuck is this how do you even walk uh, with there's if there's one in the front and the back you know it's, it's like a click. exactly exactly no, you, you, you do like a little click right it's like i don't even box. know how mm. i was 
I gave up right when I got them. I just was like, this is fucked up. I'm not doing this. <laughs> Do kids still Healy these days? Is that like a thing? I haven't uh, seen them. I really honestly, haven't seen one in I while. haven't seen them where I'm like, oh, okay. Like, Listen, uh, but, still okay, I think there probably is. Um, there are some kids out there in high school, middle school, whatever right now that are probably still Healy because – you know that there's still kids that run like Naruto, right? They do the Naruto run where they have their arms behind yeah, their back. Yeah. If that shit still exists, then Healy kids still exist. Uh, that's just that's basic arithmetic right there. I agree. That's probability. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Man, they're still out there. The numbers have dwindled. And if <laughs> not, if <laughs> not, we're just gonna let them like we're not gonna talk about it for like five years, and then we're gonna come out with like the new Healy. Instead Call of a the, Healy, it's it's a nosy. So well, you don't have it on the back of your foot. It's on the front of your foot. <laughs> I thought you were going to say on your nose. Can uh, well, you it, wouldn't this? it be a toesy then? Why, why a nosy? Okay. Wow. You shut his idea yeah. down yeah. like, a, like yeah. a factory in He's the recession. Like, fuck, I didn't think about the human anatomy there. <laughs> I hope you guys have a good show. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, thanks. You, you know, you want to know something I hate though. I don't know what remi- thought me thought of this is when you have like a friend over, or you're sleeping in a room with like a group of friends, like whatever, or just one, or even a family member, and they have their alarm set right. Oh, and their alarm goes off, but they don't wake up. But you're sitting there in bed, like <laughs> turn your fucking alarm. Oh, off. really? That's <laughs> happened to you? It's never Dude. happened to you before. No, Dude, the worst was staying over at Daniel's house when we were in high school. It was the worst. Because Daniel, really? Daniel had to take these uh, ADD pills. My parents forced me. Let's just, let me just tell you, I was forced. These oh, that's pills fine, for, and I understand that. What, what I'm saying to you is, yeah. it was so frustrating because they would come in every morning. If I would stay there at, it was between eight and eight thirty every single morning. So regardless of when we went to sleep. They would come in in the morning, and after that would happen, I just couldn't go back to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I was a little furious. It, it is hard, and it's such a honestly. Yeah, a I don't even remember that. I've slept over your house because Florian, you never woke up. Yeah, that's, that's true. I, I, Florian, you couldn't bother was, me. Yeah. Florian was out every time. Florian's yeah, a Snorlax yeah. of no. I used to friend. be able to sleep till like one o'clock. Like it didn't fucking matter yeah. what happened. I, I was good, right? Yeah, you could sleep until one o'clock, hundred percent. But uh, um. Uh, it was actually um, some of our other friends back in high school, James and Alex. Um, their parents would wake wake us. Up. Now, it was awesome because they had all the best video games and all the shit. They it did. was great to hang out there. But part of that, it's just a trade off, was you had to wake up at eight. It didn't matter what day of the week it was <laughs> Saturday, Sunday, eight o'clock, Mr. Armour <laughs> would come in there. And he's British. He has a thick British oh, accent. Oh, get up, boys. All right, boys. You get off now. <laughs> it's like, uh, I'm like, oh, come on, man. It's fucking eight. I check my phone. I'm like, it's fucking eight, dude. We're going on a run. Oh, uh, yeah. Fucking turkey and, and truck. In that year in your life, that's like early, right? But like nowadays, if that uh, was to happen. Actually, like, to uh, be fair, maybe not eight. Maybe eight is ridiculous. But between nine and <clears> ten for sure. When, again, I could sleep until one o'clock. I'm, no trouble whatsoever. It was was easy it was a light fucking work for me i could sleep till whenever i wanted to you know night work so anything earlier than that bothered me dude i could like i took that pill i got 20 minutes of sleep max after that i was wired like a freaking like why would you take it at night that is crazy no in the morning oh you took it eight in the morning so you would take wake up take it and then try to go back to sleep but you were like a just I'm on crack. Wired. Just fucking rest of the day. Damn, the rest of the day. <laughs> Meanwhile, Dan, Dan's awake, but he doesn't have a pill. He's fucking stone cold sober. Like, <laughs> like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like the odd man out like a mug. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you should have you just been like, oh, I'm sorry. Not me trying to sleep here. Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't mind me. If you guys don't mind, I'm going to try to sleep here. Why uh, didn't you sleep in the guest room? I don't know. It's a good question. Yeah. Do we even have a guest room? We didn't. We didn't have a guest room at the time. Well, you had the game room. Yeah, you had a game room, but it was leather. It was a leather. uh, Oh, I could sleep on that couch. (laughs) Yeah, you could. Florian could sleep on any couch. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Daniel, I have a question for you. Actually, for everybody. The casting couch. (laughs) Casting couch. (laughs) Yeah, it was basically. I have that now. Just so you know. (laughs) What is what is the casting couch? It's in my. You know. Uh, If you know, you know. Yeah, (laughs) that's all I have to say. That's done. We're not talking about that anymore. Okay. Now everyone, listen to this question. But Daniel, you're gonna answer first. What is your favorite non-sexual act of intimacy? (laughs) Oh, Ah. I can tell you one thing. Mm. I. The eyes. I can. I can basically eye fuck someone. <laughs> I have no. I really do. I have. A, I have like a special thing 
with like all girls. I can eye fuck them. Can you give the camera a look? Can yeah, I give, give, give you this little. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I want to know how many girls watching this are getting just wet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay? yeah. I want to know. We'll see. Florian, what about you? Oh, man. Non sexual, like intimate thing? Like that could be, I mean, what the fuck? That could be. Oh my god, that could be like anything. Like I could like sure. Okay, mine is like um when I'm in the room with someone and then I have to take a shit, I'm like <laughs> just like oh, I gotta take Wait, a shit. How is that an Wait. act of intimacy? <laughs> well, what? Hey, you tell the other girl uh, you're gonna take hey, a shit? It's, I'm, it's, I'm, it's, what the uh, hell? Hey, it didn't have This is be, why he's single still. Yeah, well there's plenty of reasons. <laughs> that is um, number but one. There's okay. no re- it, I didn't specify to say that it has to be sexual. You said intimate. Intimate could be anything. Intimate is one person, one v one together. That's intimate, you know? Like so listen, when I'm there and I'm like Oh, that's you know? your favorite okay hey, well I'm gonna, just saying. i've seen him do that face before to me so that <laughs> i guess he was intimate with me yeah i'm again it doesn't have to be sexual as yeah. you said intimate you know i was i was fair enough i was gonna say <laughs> cuddling okay and sometimes i like to be the little spoon too so well, you guys you, you ever it, try that you on? guys are the you guys are the romantics here i just went for it you know what hey yeah <laughs> don't be in the same room with me because i'm gonna take a shit <laughs> You're crazy, but yeah. yeah. Yes, I am. Okay, I just we know the we know his face now, hundred percent during the podcast. If he's gonna do that, and like, <laughs> Dan, yeah, I'm just gonna give you the eyes, like. All right, Dan, what would you? Pick? I'm with the cuddling aspect of things. I also like to yeah. be the little spoon. Um, it's just you like to be the little spoon. <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. know about I that. I'm, like not big, I'm not a big fan of that. Sometimes it's okay, you know. You gotta mix no, it up. No, I, I didn't say anything was wrong with it. Wow, I just yeah. I thought oh, you I thought die. I caught him in a Freudian slip here. Hey, <laughs> I'm the one taking fucking shits with everyone. <laughs> Believe me, I've no room to talk. <laughs> that you guys, is so funny. <laughs> you guys want to hear a funny story about Daniel that uh, I still remember to this day? Uh, we got so a lot when, of stories. When we were in middle school or high school, we used to go to Stonecrest on Fridays. And this is whenever all the guys were figuring out how to pick up girls. We didn't know how to do it. We were just kind of still figuring things out. So I think somebody heard if you say to a girl's nice shoes and another phrase that I'm not going to repeat, sometimes it would work with girls. So Daniel just walks past this group of girls, says nice shoes, and then just beelines it. (laughs) (laughs) You just beelined it? I don't remember this. It was, 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 and they they were just just disgusted. It it was one of the funniest things I've ever seen Daniel do. It's just he says something and he just beelines it. (laughs) You know what? I don't like those girls. I just told them nice shoes and they're disgusted from that. No, there was something else. You said apparently. Yeah, uh, I okay. was gonna. Yeah. Now that I, okay, I never mind. You to unlock from it must your be memory. bad. Yeah, it must no, be no, bad. No. It must be bad. We're not gonna talk about. And do we have a draft today or something like that? You want to know? It's also bad. I don't know. It depends on everybody's thoughts, but putting up Christmas lights. So on this on this edition on this edition of overrated, underrated, properly rated, the first topic is putting up Christmas lights. Overrated. Sorry. Oh well, yeah, you didn't you didn't hand out Halloween to the kids, so yeah, I forgot about that one. Also, I was asleep before it happened. Man, but you are a Grinch. No, I'm not a Grinch. Oh. I mean, I do presents, I make cookies, I would even have a tree up. But Christmas lights just over- overrated. I'm not saying don't do it; it's just kind of overrated. Okay, electricity bill. Yeah, you know, and it's only up for a month, and the effort you put into it, you could have like studied the stock well, market and made money some people so. some people start right after halloween that way it's up for two months no nah, not those people that's some prepologist proper this is what i have to say i think it's properly rated and if yeah. you have a family it's a must yeah right so yeah, I'd say. sure i guess i don't yeah. have a family so. ruben Flame. i'm gonna say properly rated now i would not put up the lights myself but i do appreciate when they are up you know, you can pay Self- someone to do that. Selfish? Nowadays. So he Absolute. wants his cake and he wants to eat it yep, too. Absolutely, yep, 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 yeah. Yep. And mm-hmm. guess what? I'm the fucking fat kid in a bakery. Okay, <laughs> I will. I don't give a damn. Um, I just appreciate it when they are up because it's it's tradition. You know, like I yeah, just love sure. seeing it. It gets you into the mood. It's holiday season. I love it. Okay, this real quick though, not to get off tangent. Remember, you were shitting on the tradition of carving pun- pumpkins, and now you love. Yeah, this because tradition? I didn't grow up with that tradition. This is a tradition. This is you grew up I with? I grew up in my childhood. I apologize. Into my formative years, never putting up the Christmas lights, but loving it when they were put up by someone else. Mm. <laughs> and you didn't and love would, it when you saw a carved pumpkin uh, at the neighbor's. No, house. I'm like, man, that's so stupid. Okay. Yeah. 
fair enough. I respect yeah. that. And um, whoever that fucker was in on um, TikTok or whatever that said, I'm a pussy because they smell bad. They do smell bad. And fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's properly rated. I agree with you. I feel like all those houses that you see with all the wonderful lights outside, you just got to feel for their electricity bill, man. I mean, it's is it really a- substantial? Dude, if you have lights on for, say they start at 6 o'clock at night and they're on till at least, I don't know, say 10 or 11 at night, you have the house lights on inside. I mean, you're yeah. probably doubling or tripling your electricity bill. Blah. So You guys are <laughs> ridiculous. But it's not no, even that no, much. No, That's but, ridiculous. But what I'm, well, okay, Daniel, I'm sure that you would know what it is. But Having I also like seeing, Christmas like driving out. through driving through different you know neighborhoods and seeing the Christmas lights, I think is a nice way to get the holiday started. So, so you did the McCadden Mill? No, absolutely not. My dad said he wants to take me through there with Karen and my mom, and I'm like, "Well, can we have beers in the back seat?" He goes, "We absolutely can." I said, "Okay." I, I thought you were oh, gonna end okay. it just like cool. you and your dad just doing that, and I was like, "Yeah, it's kind of sus." That's yeah, kind of weird. <laughs> kind of sus. I think I'd be. Like, How would nah. it be sus? They're fucking related. If anything, yeah, but that's a little. Yeah. Yeah. If anything, a father and son. I, okay, I agree. I, a well, at this age, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're All right. right, next topic. So, next topic for the overrated, getting. underrated, properly rated is: Have you guys seen uh, oh, oh. these type of cookies from Pillsbury? Yes, yeah. I have some in I, the Pillsbury. Cookies. I have yeah. some in so, my fridge. So the sugar cookies. With so like yeah, the, so the sugar the cookies. So them. each season they have different designs yeah. on them, right. folks. I uh, had a snowman one in my my um, house. Right now. Okay, so are they overrated, underrated, properly rated? They are underrated. I'm going to go first on this. Underrated because every year I get some. And this is the thing. This is the number one thing. This is the thing. If you don't, if you have them when they're cold, they're not good. If you have them when they're hot, they're they're amazing. Especially Fat, if you don't facts. ever cook them and there's a little bit of a soft in the middle. Oof. But I Okay, so Daniel, I respect that, but timing is everything. And you're not eating the whole batch right there. Maybe you are. Most people aren't. But two people get them down. But Jeez. what I'm saying is, you have to account for it in every aspect, and for that, I'm going overrated because that is just one of the worst cookies to eat once it's cold. You'd rather have an Oreo or a Chips Ahoy or something. Less effort. Overrated once again. I'm gonna say properly rated. I do appreciate it when they're fresh out of the oven. I am that one fat bastard that could eat the whole box tray, whatever, with a glass of milk fresh out of the oven. Absolutely, get them done. But um, it's also one of those things, I never buy them. I'll never make them for myself. But if someone else does it, I'll crush them, you know? True. So Selfish? Probably. So I, is what it is. So I guess I guess we know if uh, somebody makes some and they disappear, fluorinate the whole box. Yes. <laughs> Unless I'm not there. Now. But you would probably blame me even if I wasn't there. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, he did it. <laughs> Fuck it. Or it's like Florian. He's like, yeah. mm? <laughs> mouthful, crumbs dripping out. He's still saying, <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine like Florian's son years from now leaves out like cookies for Santa? Yeah. And he leaves those out <laughs> and he comes into Florian just feed bagging them. Oh, I would, I would have like a like a fake Santa beard ready to go just in case that does happen to slap it on right quick. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I'm, I'm keeping that faza- um, what, what, facade. Facade? Fiz- I was about to say facade. Uh, facade. Face, face clan? Yeah. <laughs> face clan. What? What is um, that? The final one that I have, mm-hmm. everyone here has played golf. I love golf. I've tried to play golf. At, yeah. You're... Okay. Okay. No, he he has a hitch in his swing. So. Let's <laughs> yeah, just tell Daniel, the audience. Daniel says I swing like Charles Barkley, but worse. Probably, his swing is like, good now. But like a drunk Charles Barkley, <laughs> like, a like, young. What, like a drunk before his hitch swing was fixed. So yeah. okay, so the overrated, underrated, properly rated thing I want to go through is that hot dog and a beer that you get at the turn. So after nine holes, you stop at either the snack shack or the clubhouse. You get yourself a hot dog. Get yourself a couple mm-hmm. beers mm-hmm. and you enjoy it on the tenth tee. So is that overrated, underrated, properly rated? I let me just let me, I want I want to go again first because I feel like I know I know how I, I do too. Yeah, I do too. Um, I'm gonna say you always have to. It it is amazing. This is this is super underrated. But here's the thing, and I this is what as I've gotten older, I it all depends on my game. If I'm playing good, I'm not eating anything. I, I stop doing that because that yeah. always messes my game up. I get so full, I change my whole swing up. But if I'm playing bad, I am loving that hot dog. I'm and that's getting me through and that turn and that it might make me a better player on the back nine. Yeah. So it's, what is it like when you do like it though? What is it? 
like uh what what makes you like it so much because obviously a hot dog oh. is like not the best food in the world but for this situation it I, it's just i don't know it's just one of those things you go yeah. golfing and you know that it's there and it's gonna be it's always gonna be good and you, you know it's always it's not gonna mess you up you know you, yeah. you go to like a, a fast food place or you go to a, a any golf course you don't know what they're gonna have in the back but you know you can get the hot you dog can and always it, get a hot dog. yeah you can always True. count on a True. nice good hot dog yeah. Now, I'll, get, I'll getting go, the, getting the chili is a little bit if a little <laughs> dicey. Yeah. yeah. Chili. Chili on a hot dog playing golf. That sounds like a disaster waiting to happen. No. Yeah. No, no. Well, they do it and I I always stick away, but Drew, you were going to go? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Why not? I'm going to go uh properly rated. Um yeah. it's classic snack, nothing special about a hot dog and a bag of chips or whatever and uh but timing is everything once again. Yeah. Seems like a good situation. Usually at the turn, I I don't I skip the hot dog. I've never actually you gotten a hot beers. dog. I just get I get more beers and I definitely get some chips. That's what I do get. Mm, chip the chips horses. and beer combo is what I get. Well, usually at, usually it comes with a drink, chips and a hot dog. For the Who's most Who's selling combos at a golf course? Oh, they <laughs> usually do actually. You've had you they walk up. Do. I'll take a number 1. Yeah, I did. Make I it a double. It's not a they don't they don't have it like up there. It's like, "Oh yeah, there you go." But they usually be like, yeah, you have a chip and a drink combo if you to make it a combo usually. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to go underrated. It's just after a long hole, you know, nine holes of golf, if you're not playing well or even if you are playing well, it's just refreshing. You stop, you get something at the turn and you let your round go. So, those were my topics for overrated, underrated, properly rated. I did have a draft idea. I've been thinking about it. And, you know, I love doing Still our drafts it. every week. So, our draft this yeah. week, and please tell me if you guys don't like a topic, desserts. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. I Thoughts? Like I like it. Let's do it. There's there's a bunch of content there, a bunch of desserts to rattle off. I okay. Mean, I could give you, like, you're telling me I have to pick, like, four or three or four. Four desserts? It's going to be four desserts. I'm, I'm going to. It's crazy. Who's going first? Oh, we're doing the we, rock, we paper, scissors, right. rock, paper, scissors. Right. 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 Scissors, place. Rock, paper, rock, scissors, paper, shoot. Scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Daniel won. I lost. Florian and Dan are still going. All right, me and yeah. Dan for last place. Wait, Dan won. No, Dan won. Yeah, I won. Yeah, it was me. I oh, won. fuck. Yeah, we messed oh. that up. I, I lost. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. So Dan's first. Dan's your second. Like I'm that. last in Florence third. Yep. Okay. All right. All right. So I'll, I'll start here with my first pick, an ice cream sandwich. Mm, I like that. It's a okay. good clutch thing. But, but. Whoa. It's not a regular ice cream sandwich. Have you guys seen ice cream sandwiches yep. where the, the like, instead of, like, the, the dark uh, stuff between the ice cream, it's, like, the, it's, it's lighter. Uh, I, I can't describe it. It's like what do you a mean? what type of ice cream sandwich. Yeah, what ice cream are you, are you eating? No, no, no. Like, hold on. It, it's a cool ice cream sandwich that I very the much. The best enjoy. ice cream sandwich is the M M&M and M cookie one. That's the best one. Yes, that is that so is really good. Ridiculous, yeah, that's dude. Really good. I actually like a classic one better, but that is very good. Oh, birthday cake ice cream sandwiches. Let me see. Oh yeah, yeah. Never had that before. Yeah, birthday yeah. cake ice cream birthday sandwiches. Cake Never ice. had that. Yeah, you know, me. You the, know. But the pet brand? That's the one they gave us in high school. Yeah, it's like the worst. Right, it's baby. like the worst brand. You want to know something funny? Yeah, it's like industrial grade. Last week we did sandwiches. I'm surprised no one said ice cream sandwich or a mm. knuckle sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, knuckle funny. sandwich is the most overrated yeah. one. I don't yeah. think anyone's picking that. Yeah, yeah. That's right. not making a top. Wow, way to anyone. just completely shoot Drew's idea. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah well. <laughs> second, uh, Daniel. Daniel. Second, Daniel. I'm going with apple pie. Yep, money. It's so good every time. It, warm apple pie with a little ice cream on top. Yeah, you can eat it. You can um, you gift can it to someone. It. You can, you know, like the movie apple pie. You can or have your way with it. You, you, you can you steal do. it from your parents. You guys remember whenever I did that? No, you oh, stole yeah. it from your parents? D- Daniel, so I'll just do a quick story. So one of the times that I was sleeping at Daniel's, I came home to, I think, get clothes. And I'm getting ready to leave. I say, you know, goodbye to my parents. And my old house, the living room was like, you couldn't see yeah, like, the, the entrance to the doorway. Yeah. So I saw a pie on the counter. And I acted like Yogi Bear. Just took the plate of pie and ran out and went to Daniel's. How much trouble did you get in after that? My dad was not happy. I bet he wasn't. Did you admit that you did it? Oh, yeah. 100%. Because my mom sent me a text. She goes, where'd the pie go? I said, I have it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. But it's that, gone. Man. It was gone. Good. Like we he literally had gone to town. You should have just texted her back like I did what I had to do. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, honestly. 
Um, so apple pie, Florian. Key lime pie. I love that. I mm. fucking love I love that. That was pie. that was in my list. And there, I so. like when I was a kid, I was like, who the fuck would eat like a citrus pie, like a citrus dessert, oh, like anything so orange different. flavored or lemon flavored or. Whatever. I was like, dude, the, the people are crazy. And then like. I it was know. me. It was just one day, yeah, and it might have been you. It Seriously, was it, it was. Yeah, it was. He, Daniel was like, "It's the same thing with lasagna." I used to hate lasagna. I was like, "Who the psychopaths eat lasagna?" I had the <laughs> lasagna. I was like, "God damn, that's good." <laughs> and the same thing with a key lime pie. I'm like, "Holy shit, is that phenomenal?" So yeah, key lime pie is my favorite dessert of all time. Creamy and citrus. Wow, favorite of yeah. all time. I love it. So wow, good. it's so good. Yeah. One of my favorite desserts is tiramisu. Um, wow, I really like that dessert. It's, okay. it's kind of fluffy, kind of strong, and uh, that thirteen percent Italian right there. Just yeah, wow. hey. back is, to back weeks. <laughs> is that also a Spanish dish too, or no? That's that. That's no, something it's else. Italian. Okay. Something else. Tiramisu. Tiramisu. Yeah. I guess for a first pick of the second round, I'm gonna keep it in that kind of like dessert type, and I'm gonna go with a creme brulee. You get a nice crust. Oh. You get a good custard going. It's easy and light. Very Love good dessert. It. Love it. Yeah, I that like is that. A great I like that dessert. a lot. Okay, my, my second pick. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna keep it citrusy. A lemon square. I oh, love man. a lemon square with a graham cracker crust at the bottom. Fuck. I'm gonna do a fucking Gordon Ramsay voice. Fuck me. Oh, <laughs> that is so good, dude. Jeez. Dude, I really was. I was tripping as a fucking kid. I was like, citrus does not belong in pastries. I was so fucking wrong, dude. <laughs> it, it's like the only thing that should be in pastries. Wow. It's so good. God, that turns me on. I'm gonna, I might make that tonight just because I want that so bad. Lemon square with yeah. a graham cracker crust. Is What's that one bakery in, um, like where uh, Amelie's? Po- no, not Amelie's. Amelia's, um, where Soul Gastro Lounge used to be. The one Vivance. What the fuck is it called? Oh yeah, uh, Villani's. 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 Dude, that lemon square. You is, like that one, dude? That was ridiculous. It wasn't the best one, but it was very good. Yeah, um, I thought it was great. On my next pick. I've got a well. I have a question here for you, boys. I want to. I'm gonna say chocolate. Yeah, candy can count as dessert. Should I say uh, is that like a whole thing, or are we gonna get specific into that? I would just for variety sake specific. Yeah. Okay. Specify. What's your I'm gonna chocolate? say um, for American candy, a Reese's chocolate. Yep. Reese's chocolate cups. Interesting. I think that's probably America's favorite chocolate. And that's not even the stretch. I think that, I guarantee that's America's favorite chocolate. 100%. For me, I get it very, very at a limited time, but it is my f- one of my favorite desserts. Baked Alaska. I've never had a describe baked Alaska. Describe what is that? Baked Alaska. So I had to look it up because it's hard for me to describe You had to look it up. <laughs> It says this dish is made of ice cream placed in a pie dish lined with splice, slices of sponge cake or Christmas pudding and topped with meringue. The entire dessert is then placed in an extremely hot oven for a mm. brief time long enough to firm and caramelize the meringue but not long enough to begin the melting of the ice cream. Interesting. Mm. I've never had that. It gets That's, the people going. That sounds like a science experiment, getting that perfect time and temperature mm, the right. The perfect crust. The perfect crust. That is something I really want to try because there's not many things I've not tried, and I have not tried that. You haven't been yeah. on a Royal Caribbean cruise where they have baked Alaska? It's normally like the second to last or last day. Well, I have not, Dan, and uh, I've been on a lot of the Royal Caribbean, but I've never I, had that. I don't so. really believe you now. So. <laughs> maybe I've had it and I forgot. Yeah, maybe it. that's like a like a proof of validation that you've been on a cruise, you know? Like you had to bake Alaska. You had to bake Alaska, Alaska, Alaska second to last day. If you know, you know. Uh, final dessert for me is chocolate molten lava cakes. Oh, yeah. My mom makes them. You put them in the little cups. It has the chocolate oozing out of it. It's just a true lava cake. Delight. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I'm a big fan. Wait, who is up next? It's me. And I'm going to say, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the chocolate molten lava cakes. I've tried so many times to be a fan. And every time I'm just like Why? disappointed. I don't know. And even when I went to the Chili's, like my brother, that was one of his favorite things. He could like pound two of those easy back, like back to back. Back to back. And uh, those things are big there. Uh, not a big fan. So, um, I'm gonna go with a blueberry pie mm. for for mine because I it's just it's one of my favorite pies. And I love apple. I yep. love blueberry, and you those lose, are my two favorite pies. You stole, you stole mine. No joke. Great dessert. Yeah. Great pick. It's it's you amazing. Dan's, it really is. Dan's mom made the best one I've ever. Yep. Had. And I had, let me clarify to everyone in the in the uh, in the audience or or our viewers. Wild blueberry pie. 
And if your blueberries, when you squish them in your fingers, do not taint your fingers purple, I they're not real. <laughs> and they're also, um, I just want to say that they're, they're, they've got to be genetically modified. I don't know. They're blueberries for a reason because they're blue in the middle too, not just blue on the outside. Hmm. So I do not like those clear. You squish them and they're clear yeah, white. They're white. And yeah. Yeah. If that makes that, no sense. Throw those in the trash. Every time you squish one... Throw it in the trash. I don't even think you can get the ones you're talking about in the U.S., honestly. I've well, you can. You can. So I get blueberries at Costco. I put them in my smoothie. They do have the, a wild pack of wild blueberries. Very small. Very uh-huh. good. They do. They look like uh, like the size of peas, honestly. Wow, really? Yeah. Super good. Um, what was I going to say, I guess, for my two, since I got the last and this last? Um, cherry cobbler. Very good. A cobbler is different from a pie, you know. I don't exactly know why. I guess there's no like crust on the bottom. The crust is it's on the top. It's usually in like a baking dish. That's yeah, a perfect square. Like a Dutch oven. It's like in the pie. That's why, right? <laughs> yeah. And then uh, in the pie. last last round pick. Um, definitely gonna go with ice cream. Just in general, you know, oh, yeah. ice cream's light, easy, different flavors, versatile. Never a bad idea for a dessert. Okay. Mm. I, I somehow got skipped here, but I'm gonna just give mine right quick. Okay. My last one is gonna be, even though it's. It's like specifically a holiday dish, but it's definitely dessert. Sweet potato casserole with marshmallows on top. I mm. fucking love that. Mm. Oh, I love with that. With marshmallows? See, yeah. I'm more of a brown sugar fan. Yeah, both. Top. Throw them both on there. Yeah, I'm a little had cinnamon, both. a little nutmeg. Mm. Did you like the one we had for Thanksgiving, oh, yeah. Thanksgiving feast? Yeah. Whoever that made good. that. My mom. Bruh. Like fucking. <laughs> I know that. If it's Easy. A, if it's, I would probably prefer like the marshmallow like. Fluff? Spread or fluff. Uh, now, if it's actual mar- marshmallows, uh, I'm gonna it's pass. the small ones. It's yeah. the small mini ones. But when when they're in the mm. oven like that, you can just fucking put your spoon over them. Yeah, and spread like a motherfucker. I, yeah, just there's something about marshmallows I'm not a big fan of. There's really? something they're made. I don't know. There's that's one thing I'm not like I could eat them. They're not like on my list of like terrible. Don't eat like, but. You know, a sleeper dessert. Not a big pan, pan. A sleeper dessert that no one picked. No. And I think it's like a seventh round pick, but it's high value. S'mores. I was gonna oh, say. Wow. I was gonna say coconut macaroons. Also okay. great. That's. Jesus Christ. I'm not a not a. Fan yeah, that's of like a fucking fourteen round pick. We can go yeah, on and on. Way, that thing is not way, getting a contract. On I can and tell Florian. you. Florian. We could go on and on, but I think it's time to talk about the beers that we have. Oh, no, now, good. now that you've because had a chance, I, I need you to compare them, them. And I can, get, I can rank them one through four. Okay? I think the hibachi set, chef. Um, so I'm just going to list them off, and then I'll do my rankings. Um, first, we have uh, – it's a delicious IPA. It's from Stone. Is that what it's called? Stone Brewing? Get Stoned. Get Stoned. The Stone Gargoyle? Okay. Interesting. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good IPA if you in IPAs. Uh, what are you comparing it to as an NFL team? Oh, that's the question right there. Never mind. If you're not ready, just for no, that. no. Oh, believe me, I can round these suckers off. I'm gonna say that one. That's like the New York Jets, but this year. Ah. Okay, so it's not in total. It's this year's New York Jets. You know, ah. started off pretty hot, ah. cooled off a little bit. So I would say it's going to end up average, okay? Okay. Um, next, we have Triple Berry Jam. It's a kettle sour from Charlotte's Lenny Boy Brewing. Lenny. Um, this one, uh, in terms of sours, is not my favorite. It's got that pink color, so that, to me, already kind of, it's like one less point, right? I, I'm not a big fan of, like, pink beers. Um, this one, it looks flashy, but I think when it plays, it's a little uh, flat, I'm going to say it's like the Baltimore Ravens, you know? It's just they look flashy, but you know they're not going to get the job okay, done. I okay. can tell you that. I like that. I like yeah, that. I know you would. I know you would. And this is on the fly. Just remember that. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got uh, the Pineapple Upside Down Sauce IPA. This thing was like a smoothie. It's and not a IPA. sauce. It's not sauce. Oh, shake. Sorry. I don't know how I'm reading sauce. <laughs> I'm a little fucked up. I can tell you that. Okay. Um, it's an IPA, but it's also like a smoothie type of beer. Um, it's really thick in the interior. Um, if I had to think of a team with really thick offensive linemen, I'm going to say the Cleveland Browns. You know, this this has potential. Okay, it has potential. It's got the roster, but it's missing the most important part that's going to um, get them into the playoffs, and that's quarterback. And, yeah, that's what it's going to be. Respectful. Cleveland Browns, yeah. yeah, yeah. 
Um, and last uh, but not least, we have a coconut double IPA. It's called Haven't Talked Names Yet from Dissolver. They're in Asheville. Uh, big fan of this brewery. Um, in terms of IPAs, I think it's pretty good. I would say this is probably my favorite beer out of the mm-hmm. four today. Yeah, you would agree? Even more than the the other one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think it's a really refreshing drink. It's good. Um, it doesn't stand out too much to me. I guess in terms of IPAs, it's good. So for me, IPAs would be the equivalent of like really bad teams in the NFL, but it's the best of the bunch. Um, I'm going to say that's a good question. It's the Detroit Lions. It's the Detroit Lions. <laughs> Boom! The Detroit so, Lions. So, Daniel, what did you have in your beer there? It looks... I don't know. I'm pretty... I am... I'm going to put the ballpark that one of you guys did something to it, and I'm not going to even drink it, because if that even is, just came out the thing, that's but you, not You can't compare good. anything. Well, like see, it's a kettle... No, I, I saw both of your guys' drinks and colors. It was not the same. <laughs> well, it was a kettle sour, so you got the bottom of it. You got the bottom of the kettle. Well, I don't want to drink the bottom of it, so... Well, I don't know. Maybe a hibachi chef made yours. So it makes it looks more like that. Okay, like yeah. what? Like uh, a hibachi beer. Well, guys, I think we're gonna do some picks. Got about eight minutes left, and then let's talk, get the hell out of here. Let's talk a little ball. Um, so I have a couple games here. Uh, the first one I want to touch on, I think, is probably the most important game of the week. Um, want to talk about the Dolphins and the Chargers. I think that's probably looking on the slate of games. That's probably the game of the week. Florian, are the Dolphins home? I didn't get a chance to look that up. No, it's away. It's away. So it is in Los Angeles, but in actuality, that's never a home game anyway. What is the line? So, yeah. Don't know. Don't have it up. So, um, just picking straight up winners. Yeah, we're just picking straight up winners here. Okay. So, Drew, start with you. Chargers or the Dolphins? Uh, I'm going to go Chargers. Okay. Okay. Ooh, two is a little shaky, and I think Dolphins got to earn it at the end of the season. No, 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 no. Uh, I don't even like yeah. the Chargers. Let me go That's second. My pick. Uh, Dolphins all day. They're going to rebound. The Chargers are, you know, like, sure, Justin Herbert, I will say, probably is a better quarterback than Tua. Although I think in our system, Justin Herbert would have to make a lot of adjustments to his game because I think he's a long ball thrower and Tua is all about short, quick passes with those wide receivers. He's perfect for it, right? Um, I think our team is overall better. Our coaching is certainly better. Their coach is terrible. That dude might get fired. I'm mean, Honestly, he's, he's awful. Um, I don't think we're going to lose two games in a row, especially because we have a chance to win our division, Dolphins. Daniel? No, no, yeah, I'm gonna go with Dolphins. I just, I think that Chargers could win this. Oh, I, for some reason, I'm just giving Dolphins, it to the Dolphins minus three. Dolphins minus three. Oh, yeah, in Los Angeles, like speaks to what you were saying about it's never a home game for the Chargers. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna take the Chargers. Uh, I think <laughs> the Niners gave the blueprint on how to upset Tua and to slow down that offense a little bit. And I do think, I understand their defense has been very lackluster this year, but I think the Chargers do have the personnel in order to do that. Bang. So that's my thought there. Next game, which is a game where you wouldn't think this team is favored, but you have the Minnesota Vikings and the Detroit Lions. It is in Detroit. Detroit is favored minus one. Isn't that something? Nope. Remember, I minus one is that the updated one? I have minus two and a half. Oh, I saw minus one, but I guess it's minus two and a half. So, minus two and a half for the Lions. I already kind of like them in this game. I think Minnesota's—they're a great team, but how bad do they want this? How bad do they need this? Is the question too? Not that bad. You're not going to catch Philly. Well, you might. You could. I mean, they're only like two games back. I mean, I'm gonna Philly go ahead has and just say the Lions straight up. I got the Lions. Okay, Daniel. Yeah, I got the Lions, too. I'm going to say um, the Lions as well. I think the Minnesota is a 10-2 and two team, but I think, and I don't know if they've played any of the other teams in their division twice already, but I could see this being a Minnesota team that splits every single game with each of their divisional opponents. You know, they win the home games and they lose the away games. This is at Detroit. I'm picking Detroit. They just don't have the defense. The Vi- Vikings just don't yeah. have the defense, and and their corners are just terrible. They don't have the quarterback. I even get I get update. I've gotten uh, like four updates today saying that the Lions wide receivers are about to go off because Vikings corners are Pat sucking Peterson ass this year. Nah. Pat 
graphics. He's not, but that bad. um, I do like the Lions, but I, I I'm gonna pick the Vikings. Um, I I think the Vikings are better. The Lions are on a hot streak, and I think that this just feels weird. It does that a ten and two or whatever they're nine and two, ten and two team. I think it's nine and two. A nine and two team, ten and two versus five and seven. Yeah, is Who, not who's, favored uh, oh yeah. against a five and seven team. So this is weird. If anything, I'm taking the Minnesota points without even thinking yeah, twice. If I'm, if I'm gambling that, yeah, sure. But straight up, How, what's oh, the points Lions, though? Yeah, or, excuse me, the Vikings. I'm taking the Vikings. We always up. pick straight up. Pick always straight up. <laughs> always straight up. Um, so the final game here that I have that I actually think is going to be a little wonky because a certain player is not playing, but you have Baltimore and the Steelers. Both teams mm-hmm. are still in the hunt. Lamar is out at least one to three weeks. So you have Tyler Huntley playing. What? The Steel, yeah, uh, sprained PCL. Um, mm, the PCL. It, the Steelers are playing better as of late since they got TJ Watt back. Um, I think it is currently the Steelers are home. Yeah. And they're so, favored minus two and a half. They're favored minus two and a half. So, you know, what What are people's thoughts there? Baltimore, Steelers, kind of what do you guys think? I like the Ravens here. I think the Ravens play very, very well as an underdog. Um, They do. And then Huntley isn't that much of a drop off between Jackson. And I will mm-hmm. say Lamar has not looked like that great anyways. So I think this is going to be a good change up. For a good team as an underdog playing a Steelers team, that's probably the worst they've been in the last ten years. So yeah, I like the Ravens. I th- I like the Steelers here for some reason. I don't know why. I just don't like that Lamar's not playing. I think Huntley is good, yes, but like the Steelers defense is amazing, and that's that's the problem. That it's it's just absolutely amazing. So I think that the Steelers somehow win this. Florian, I want to hear what you think. Has Lamar's value that he wants in a contract decreased? It all comes down no. to the playoffs. Yeah. Okay. okay. 100%. To me. Um, to answer, I'm going to give my picks, but also to answer your question, no, I think Lamar Jackson's value as a player and in terms of getting a contract has only increased because they live and die with Lamar Jackson. With Their defense is already shot. They, they gave won up. last week. Okay, yeah, defense has been pretty good. And it's, they, I mean, they really it's have. Been pretty, it was nine and it's three been, or nine and six that game. That was a terrible it's, game. It's been <laughs> it okay. It's yeah. it's getting it's getting better as the season goes on. But sure. again, they lost. They gave up twenty one points or twenty eight points against the Dolphins. Sure, it was week three or week two. Okay, yeah, fine. But that's a huge lead to give up. Um, the defense is still not where it used to be. It's not a Baltimore Ravens defense in, of years past. Um, so it lives and dies by Lamar Jackson. On the contrary, um, the Steelers live and die with uh, T.J. Watt. He is everything for that team. If he's not on the field, he they are terrible. 100%. They really are. It's kind of crazy. It happened last year too. Didn't he get hurt last year? Yeah. And they were awful without him. And then he comes back and they start winning games. So exactly, I mean, um, the Browns are the same way when they lose Miles Garrett. Exactly, you and have so, to have that elite pass you, rusher. Exactly, you and to. so I think the Steelers win this one. No Lamar, and you and the Steelers do have T.J. Watt. I'm giving it to the Steelers. And I, yeah, and he, that's a great point. And do you know what it is? It's not even that. Yeah, he, they are amazing players, but it just whenever those two, amazing two players are not playing, yeah, the people, the, the players around them, like, dang, we don't have our best player. Now I'm gonna have to be like the best player, and I know it's like not me, and yada yada, yada and they know that in their head. The doubt but, starts. Yeah, um, s- it uh, doesn't. It's not in. good, you know. And then things fall apart. Yeah, yeah it's, so. the, it's the double team effect. It is like because when Aaron Donald was with the Rams, you yeah. get double teamed, so the defense would practice like. Donald's gonna get double teamed, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so when that doesn't happen, you're getting looks you haven't seen before. <clears throat> yeah, no, yeah. So. I'm going to pick the Ravens here, and this is going to upset a lot of people, including people on this podcast. That offense is catered to mobile quarterbacks, so I don't think that offense is going to miss a beat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Granted, I understand point. Huntley is not the athlete or the player that Lamar is, but he is just serviceable enough to get it done in that offensive scheme. Get That defense is going to upset Kenny Pickett. Uh, and it seemed like that offense last week was getting a lot of frustrate. Like a lot of the receivers are getting frustrated, and I think the Ravens have the DBs to continue that frustration. Give me the Ravens. So love it. Appreciate you guy. You know that was fun. You know appreciate everybody be uh, giving their picks. But uh, Daniel, I think it's time for you to get back on the horse here because it's time for Daniel 
Daniel Stevens. Daniel Stevens. So Daniel, what <clears throat> what's the pick looking like this week? You know, you got to get the stank off of you. Um, I had two picks, and it's funny because one of them, like I'm I'm I've been going back and forth with, but I think that it, it, I'm doing it. It's the Cowboys and the Texans game. Um, it's at plus sixteen and a half. No, it's not. Which yes. team? Texans, Texans. obviously. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> like, wow. And, and that Blues, is just that Blues. is just so extreme that it makes me want to take that. Yeah. Like I don't. I haven't seen that all year. That's too big of a spread for an NFL game. I think it There's could be no inflated. Way. Cowboys have been I think pretty largely. Lately, I, yeah, so. I, I I could easily see the the Cowboys doing that. But uh, I just think that it gets a little bit closer because it's a Texas and Texas, two Texas teams, two Texas. It's hard to do it when you're expected to do it, right? Like yeah. Cowboys are like getting these yeah. big wins when they're when They've had to suspected. sit with that yeah. in their mind the whole week. You right. know, that's a little But uh, the Texans are one of the worst teams in the league, or if not the worst. They are the worst. Uh, the worst. Cowboys have one of the best defenses in the league, if not the best. Um, um, quickly. Dan did have the Texans making the playoffs this year. <laughs> yeah, big time yikes. <laughs> Dan, I don't know the other how game. you thought that. Um, I, I mean, I, they, they had some potential, but no, they fell apart. Um, I think they got they high. Had no they no potential. Got, yeah, no, they did have a little running back potential there and then a couple, I don't know, maybe not. Anyways, what's, the, not. what's the other option for the pick? Um, now, the other option was the Dolphins. Daniel, hold on. Can I just speak to the ti- uh, the Cowboys and the Texans real quick? Yes. So I know the, you know, it's what's plus 16? And a half, yeah. The Cowboys are overall a better team than the Dolphins, and the Dolphins dog walked oh. them. So, and I will never say something like that again. That but is crazy. Wait, say That's this, wait, say this again? Crazy. Sorry, I'm the, just like sorry. blanked when you said it. The Dolphins were favored by 13. The looks, or excuse me, Dolphins were favored by 13. Sounds like Dallas is favored by 16. Dallas is an overall better team than the Dolphins. And. I you know the Dolphins dog walk the Texans so just think about that. I I disagree. I mean they dog walk the Texans, but are they a better team than us? Nah, hell no. Well, yeah. overall it's it's close for sure. I would say definitely close. It is close. We it's definitely Ty- close. We have Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle. It's not close. Yeah, but their defense is way better than yours. Yeah, okay, but it's so that's that why it's close. it does not even out. I can tell on you on a that. neutral oh, it's a 50-50. field. It's fifty percent defense, fifty percent offense. Would be even. I think it would be an even spread on the neutral it's field. It's close because yeah. they do have some pretty good offense too, and then your defense is pretty good too. So it's like I think it is 50-50 right there. What, what you got for the other pick yeah. for Daniels to do this? Dolph- the Dolphins. Well, uh, what's, what's, what's the stuff? It's, uh, well, who are they playing again? Chargers, Chargers and it's yeah. minus two and a half. And minus two and a half. <laughs> Sorry. I forgot. I'm blanked. Yep. <clears throat> and it's two or three because I thought it's been changing. No, it's minus two and a half. Okay. So I definitely like the no. Oh, it is minus Houston. three. Sorry, it is minus three. Right. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. I like the Houston one better. Yeah, I do too because that's a fuck ton of points. It's I mean, the safest bet. I mean, listen, an NFL game with that high of a um, uh, that high of points, that's too much. It, yeah. it really is just too much. Yeah, and <clears throat> I think you buy a point here just to be it's, super safe, and you get it at seventeen and a half just in case. I wouldn't. I think that's a waste of buying a point. You're making less yeah. money if you do that. It's I don't like buying points. I think yeah. it's like a ninety some percent chance that they don't like. It's going to be they'll cover. I think you ride out. You go with it. Okay. I just think the Chargers like my pick was straight up, so that's why I don't like the Dolphins. But mm-hmm. minus points, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know haters. No, that's just a lot of points. I mean, they they're not good. They're gonna go out there and play, you know. So Houston, Texas, plus sixteen. Houston and a half. Texans plus yes. seventeen and a half. Plus seventeen and a half. Are you gonna buy the point? Don't buy I, the point. I mean, I would, but I mean, we don't need to. It's but sound, if it does, it sounds hey, listen, like you're not confident. I'm enough, not. And that's no, such I a am huge confident. Threat. But if it does come down to that, I'm gonna say I told you so. So okay. Yeah, that would be crazy, but it's just very unlikely. <clears throat> okay. Well, sadly, boys, it is time to get out of here. Is it? Yeah. It's my least favorite time every week, but, you know, it's been a pleasure. Oh, it's always, yeah, I, I get sad, too. Conversation was good. Beers were great. Beers were great. Conversation was good. Daniel obviously didn't one like a specific beer, which is fine. We'll just leave that, that one That one looks out. like a Coca-Cola now. Ex- Literally, I was thinking, I was like, I'm not cherry sure. Did you, did you pour a Coca-Cola? I mean, we have Coke back there. I didn't Sipping pour these drinks. Coke. That's why I'm not drinking that. Oh. Um. All right, boys. It's been a pleasure. 
But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this has been episode 53 of the, fly, the Flights of the Round Table podcast. Can I put the I hope everyone in? has a wonderful day, wonderful week, and we'll talk to you guys next week. Peace. Prost. Prost.